Hello everybody, Mappy418 here, and I'm going to show you how to record a game on a computer that can't record while playing, like if it doesn't have a good enough processor, on a computer that can use all of the processing power that it has just to record it. So, this is for a computer that can play the game well but can't record it, like not a very good processor, really good graphics card, and on a computer that can't play the game but it can record it well like quad core processor. This is um, Intel i3 third gen quad core um, Dell Inspiron laptop. I don't know what my dad did do it but if you come to the control panel you can see that I don't know how he did that but he messed the processor like he messed that up. I don't know what he did but it's really slow compared to like what it should be. That should probably be around 6.2 or something like that. Come on, go down. Alright, so, sorry if it's not that clear I'm using my phone because, yeah. So, But what you want to do is have two computers with Steam both signed into the same account. Alright, and then you need to be connected to the same network. And you have to have this little stream button right there. It's right there you have to have that little stream button and so what's gonna happen you, you should probably be on a wired network um, what's gonna happen is it's gonna play the game on here you're gonna play the game on here and then the video is gonna come over here and then you're gonna record it so you cannot have a recording software open on the computer that is gonna be playing the game so you can't have like fraps or MSI or DX tutorial open so you have to, but you can have, you need to have the recording software open on the computer you're going to record on. As you can see right there, I am using, come on, focus, MSI Afterburner. So, what you're going to want to do is hit stream after all this is set up. Stream, preparing to launch. There we go. I don't know how this is going to work. This computer is should be faster but alright so what I'm doing right now alright it seems to be running good on this one it's almost instanta instantaneous and that's what you want so what you're going to want to do is since I have the button set to record as F12 I'm going to press that you can see uh, maybe the little MSI thing is moving around it's spinning right there that means it's recording so I'm gonna have the video footage um, in the this part of the video so um, alright so hopefully I don't know how this is gonna work but I'm gonna be playing it on this one this the sound comes through that laptop right there but I can still play it on this one with the keyboard and everything but I, I can't do that really with a phone in my hand so but it's not going to look perfect, and if you have a more powerful computer and faster network, it will look a lot better. But this is, I'm just doing this just to show what, what can be done. So, here we go. Team Deathmatch. Alright. Let's do this. Yeah, it's looking okay. I'm not sure how it's getting, but yeah, you can mess with the... With the stream and recording settings, I'm using MSI because it seems to be the least processor intensive. But I'm playing with one hand, so. Yeah, so. It's working. It's really easy. It's, it, it, but the quality, like I said, it, it is a little choppy at times. I'm probably going to die here. But, yeah, like I said before, though, sorry. It's a little fuzzy. I am using my phone. And I don't feel like doing the autofocus, whatever. So, oh yeah, my mini map isn't working right. If anyone could like tell me how why that is, I've tried to fix it. Enemy UAV spike. Alright, so. Ah oh, crap, I gotta try and kill someone. Oh, I tried. So that's basically it. Um yeah. So if we just if we go in over here, press F12 again. Where is it? F12. 
12. You see it stopped recording and you can control the game from this computer. Alright, let's go to exit game. Let's go to this and quit game. Yeah, I hate how the lighting is a little weird on my phone, like since it's recording a laptop. This would have gone better if I would have if I had it plugged in. But I set it to high performance so it should work. We can go over to here. I just want to see what the um, format it recorded it in. Streaming client. Frame, yes, here it is. That's what I want to see. 1280 by 720 because that's HD and that's what I recorded. It. That's what I'm streaming it in from here. So, this is basically all the, like I said, you will be seeing the video. But you you sh probably should use a slightly more powerful computer than this, and I because I don't know what my dad did, but it's a lot less processor intensive on this end if you record it with something else, and that is just the cheaper way to do it without a capture card. So it's not perfect, but I hope I helped someone out. So thanks for watching, and if you liked this just and if you found it helpful please share it with someone that might find it helpful too um thanks for watching see ya